Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about physics. The topic today is about the wave. So now I want to show you how to answer. Question 8. We need to find the amplitude, period, frequency, wavelength, and the speed of propagation. So now I want to show you how to answer. The first thing, amplitude. So to do about this one, we need to concentrate about the number next to about cosine in here. This one that is about the amplitude. And we put about 0.75 centimeters because we have the unit in here. This one we can convert into meters. B period to find about the period in here. We need to use about capital T equals to 2B over omega. About omega in here. That should be about this one so that should be about 250 b so if we simplify these numbers in here and we have 0 0.008 seconds the next one, frequency. If we want to find about the frequency in here, that should be about F equals to 1 over capital T. So we put the value of this one going here. And we have 125 hertz. The next one that is about the speed of ro propagation and the wavelength. So about the wavelength that should be about k equals to 2b over lambda Lambda, this is about the wavelength. K, that is about this value in here. So we have B 0 0.4. So if we want to find the wavelength, we need to put this one, go to the left. K will go to the right. So we calculate this one and we have 5 centimeters and this one we have 0 0.05 meters in here and the last one the speed so that should be about v equals to f multiplied by lambda f we have 125 hertz and lambda that is about this number in here so we calculate light and we have 6.25 meters per second question p is the wave traveling in the in the positive s or negative s direction so now we have the next one we have the formula in here that's it about the wave direction so in this one we have ks plus omega 
multiply by t equals to number zero and now I will put this one go to the right and we have negative omega t later that we know that t that is about the time so the, the time they own way about positive number omega we know that that is about 250p and this one they are positive okay we have 0.4b and this one they are positive in here so positive positive they still about positive but we have the negative so this one is about negative number so k is about positive so s in this situation should be about negative because this one is about positive if we want to create the negative on the right this one should be about negative and here is the answer for question b and that is about negative s direction question c we want to find the tension so the formula of this one we have v equals to the square root of t over mu. so v we have these numbers in here 6.25 and mu that is about the mass per unit length so we have this number in here and now we just find about t that is about the tension so we put the power 2 for the both sides so I will put this one go to the left So we calculate this one and we have 1.95 Newton and this is the value of T in here. Question D, find the average power of this wave. So we have the formula in here. So we know that mu that is about this one. Omega that is about this one. Eight that is about this one. and V that is about this one so we calculate everything and we have the final answer this is the end thank you for watching